community colleges to be nimble enough uh, that they can be uh, providing the sort of workforce that the businesses are asking for. That requires an even greater degree of interconnection than we have right now. Uh, the other thing that we need to make sure that's going on really well here in Kansas City, Kansas, uh, is, is connecting the high schools to that community college. And USD 500 is, is readjusted so they are providing those centers of excellence. So they're already tracking high school students uh, so if they want to be engineers, they're going to go to an engineering high school. If they want to go to liberal arts and sciences, they're going to the uh, arts and humanities high school. Uh, and that, I believe, will help connect kids through the community college uh, arena because they're going to know uh, before they even start making decisions about colleges what direction they want to go in. Uh, the other area that I think is the next frontier for community colleges, we have to focus on entrepreneurship. Uh, the workforce of the future, the, um, the workplace of the future is changing. Uh, more and more millennials want to sort of create their own job. Uh, we here within the metropolitan area have the Kauffman Center uh, that's focused on entrepreneurship. We need to make sure that uh, both our technical colleges and our community colleges are preparing their young people to be prepared to start their own business uh, if, they, if they'd like to do that. Uh, and then finally, uh, we need to have a strong focus on how these institutions are funded. Um, the state has been chronically underfunding its local units of government or has been uh, pulling back on the old relationships that we used to have with counties. Uh, we no longer support counties in the way in which we used to. Uh, community colleges are largely funded by local property taxes. Everyone is struggling with property taxes right now. Uh, and so counties that stru suffer with high property taxes struggle when they have to provide more support to their community colleges. They need a state that's a new partner with them making sure there's stability there so they're not uh, struggling with financing year in and year out.